guys welcome back to my channel so today i'll be showing you how to make a breezy bodice for a top um you could use this for an off shoulder you could use it for to attach the bottom of a dress and make a skater dress you could attach a sleeve to it and make you could make different things with this basic bodies but i'm just showing you the top part of the basic bodies the bottom can be gather the bottom can be flay the bottom can be pencil so let's get into the video so i'm using directly on this fabric my tape my chalk and my scissors so you could also attach like um flay at the bottom and it will be a peplum top the next thing i'm going to do I, I, I've already done it so I folded the fabric this way and then the next thing you do is to check the shoulder to waist on the person so the shoulder to waist I'm working with is 17 and then I'm going to add one inch to it which is going to be 18 so you mark that right how you measure the shoulder to the waist is like you put the tape on the person's shoulder and then you measure like the parts of their waist that just right under their boob before the belly button there's a part of you that curves this way so you put the tape and then you measure down to the waist that's the part of the waist i'm talking about the part that curves in so that's your waist the waist that you're supposed to use when doing this so basically the narrowest parts um of your upper body so after that you mark you mark the line right this line will be where you mark your shoulder so you measure the person's shoulder and the shoulder i'm going to be working with today is 18 right so i'll mark 18 divided um the shoulder i'm going to be working with today is 16 sorry 16 divided by 2 that will give me 8 so what you do is you mark the 8 here divide the shoulder by 2 mark it here and then you come down from this line here and then mark the armhole the armhole i'm talking about is you measure their their from their armpit up to their shoulder and round so that's whatever you get you divide it by two so for me i'm going to be using 10 so i'm going to mark 10 here like lengthwise 10 and then mark this line to join then you come down one in so the reason why i'm using 10 is because my armhole divided by two what i got is um, 10 my my total is 20 so divided by two is, is how i got the 10 so you come down on this same line mark it this way here you mark it at one inch like this line to from this point here down here you mark one inch and then from here you you, you mark like a curve here right maybe about 1.5 inches here you mark a curve here so now you come back to the neckline you mark three inches here or 3.5 depending on how big the person if you're if you're making for a bigger person you might want to use 3.5 or if you just want the neckline narrow then you will go with three so from there you mark the three inches which is from this point to this point then from here you're going to mark this point the one inch that you made here make sure you mark this line to meet this line here so you see this is your shoulder slant to give your shoulder is the, the slant because your shoulder is not straight so this line that i've made here the basic bodies you just come down three inches so three inches by three inches you cover it this way and mark it this way so with this neckline now you could go with if you if you're making a v-neck you could go straight this way if you're making like a square neck you could go this way if you're making like um if you're making um boat neck you could just divide the whatever you have at this end into two maybe you have four here then you go in between here and then you mark your neckline that will be both neck like you split it into two and then that's both neck but and but remember what we are making is just a basic bodies that will be like what you're going to use to make every other thing you're making so i'm just trying to tell you other things that you could get out of this basic bodies pattern so after that the next thing you have to check is the bust measurement this can actually be the first thing you check so that you know if the width you shifted this fabric to you folded the fabric will be enough for you so the bust measurement i'm working with is uh, 44 44 divided by 4 by 4 that will give me 11 
right so as you can see i have 11 inches here so that will be here and then plus extra one inch for my seam allowance that will be here so on the waist the, the, the what i'm working with is 38 that's 8 by 4 that will be 9.5 right so 9.5 at the waist you're going to use two inches but at the bust line you're going to use um you're going to add one inch but at the waistline you're going to add two inches so at the waistline the waist measurement i'm working with is 38 38 divided by four what i have is 9.5 so 9.5 plus one inch for that thing that is uh, 10.5 plus another extra one inch for my seam allowance that's 11.5 so i'm going to mark that now so guys this line here is the normal measurement you're using but this extra one here is for your seam allowance you won't notice the the difference between the bust and the waist on this particular one because the person is on, on the bigger side the waist is 38 the bust is uh, 44 so after that the next thing you have to do is to come down on these 10 inches that you marked on your armhole mark the center which is 5 right Come in by 0.5 inches here 0.5 that's half an inch here mark it this way and then if you have the curve ruler then you could just mark it this way join here and then this way join this curve but you don't cut this out you don't cut this out you 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 just use this to cut the back and then you trim this out later so i'm just going to cut this out now so guys here is the front piece here the one that we just made the video the i just showed you how to make as you can see i didn't cut this out yet i just cut out the top and then cut out like all the ends here so what i'm going to do now i folded another piece of fabric here two as you can see i split it into two two separate parts here so what i'm going to do is to place this here right but then I gave extra one inch for my zip allowance at the back. So from the point of this one here to this, you notice there's one inch at the center back. So guys, as you can see, I've gone ahead and cut out the, the back sleeve. The back armhole cut also the shoulder. But I wanted to show you how to cut the back neckline. It's just by coming down by one inch here. So you mark one inch for the back. Remember the front we use three inches here, but for the back we're using just one inch. So I'm just going to mark the one inch and then curve it this way to meet this point. So I'm going to curve it this way to meet this point and then I'm going to trim it out. So that's basically it for making this uh, basic bodice pattern. So the next thing you're going to do is the darting, right? And how you're going to do the darting is for me, I know I'm going to make a separate video on how to make the darting. But basically for the front piece, what you're going to do is to mark from the point of the bust, like the point, the two points of the bust, you measure the person this way, from one point to the second point, you divide it by two, right? When you divide it by two, let's say you got eight as the total bust point, then you divide it by two, you have four. So what you're going to do is you mark, you're going to have, like, you're going to mark four inches here, right? Some people normally add like half an inch or they just go with what whatever you got but whichever one you want is okay i just normally sometimes i go with whatever i get or sometimes i add half an inch so let's just say you whatever you got you divided it by two plus half an inch so you mark it this way right and remember from your shoulder what you're going to do is the shoulder to the bust most times is 10 right most times is 10 but then the 10, your dart is going to stop one inch. Whatever you got as shoulder to bust, your, your darting is going to stop one inch before that. So let's say you got your shoulder to bust is 10. So whatever, your dart is going to end at, let's say, 11, right? So you mark it down this way. And then you're going to have something like this going down this way, which basically means the space that you're going to, how you're going to pinch out the fabric. So which means when you fold it this way right you're going to pinch it out this way like half an inch on each side let's say this is the marking right going up this way you're going to pinch it about half an inch this way and then you're going to make a stitch going up this way to the end 
to wherever the 11 is, right? One inch before the 10. So when you pinch it out this way and sew it, when you open it up, you see, you have the dart. So you're going to do it on both sides of this front panel. So you're going to have something like this, two of these, and it's going to be eight inches apart, pinched out this way from the back, and then the stitch goes up. The same thing for the back panel. How I normally do mine is just to fold it. I fold it this way, right? This is how it is, right? Fold it this way. You can, you fold it this way and then your stitch, your darting, you pinch it out like 5, 0.5 here, 0.5 here. That's one inch total. And then you narrow it. Remember the darting, you normally, I'm going to make a separate video for this, but when you're darting, you narrow it as you're going and then it points to the end. So I'm going to make, at the back, you're going to have about, let's say, up to about 12 inches for the back the next thing you have to when you want to make it you you, you just join the front and the back right you flip you place it this way this way that's how you do it you join the sleeve you join the sleeve on the both sides right side facing each other and then you flip it this way right and then you add so guys after that the next thing you have to do is um you just fold it and then you remember what i said you could when you finish making the top part you could attach maybe like a pencil skirt to the bottom it can be a straight dress you could attach like a flay at the bottom it could be if um, a simple skater dress you could attach um like an eight p uh, um, eight inches of fabric to the end and it could be a peplum top so you could do so many things with this even the top part you could trim off like about six inches or four inches from the top part this way and it will be how they make and then attach your sleeve like half cut of the sleeve and it will be like a tube top is um no um tube top what i what i meant to say was um off shoulder or it can be off shoulder so you could use this to make like a um this straight um off shoulder and then you attach your sleeve so you, you can make so many things with this. So thank you guys so much for watching. And please like, share and subscribe. Bye.